Hi everyone, Wagger here. What I'm going to do is a review of the Wagtail Orbit. They've been out for a while now. I'm going to show you just how it performs and what I actually think about it. I actually think it's a very, very good tool. Uh, what it does is convert an ordinary brush from a fixed one into one that actually swivels. Isn't that cool? <laughs> it's so easy to fit, but I'll be showing you how to fit it and adjust it, whatever, in another video. But for now, what I'm going to do is show you what the benefits are of a swivel brush if I can. Uh, I can't actually work without these now, although I used to make my own and I had the prototype. Uh, it worked fantastically well. And when I go back to a fixed brush, I just can't use it because this is so beneficial. Anyway, what we're going to do is just show you some downstairs windows to start with uh, what it actually does. Um, with a fixed brush, what will tend to happen is that you have to move your position from window to window much more frequently. A fixed brush, just pretend it's a fixed brush at the same time. Going up and down here, scrubbing away. You notice how I'm moving along from window to window. Like this, because the brush won't actually mould to the corners. You get this effect. So in order to get over that, what you have to do is move across to actually get to the corner of the window like that. But as soon as you fix one of these wagtail orbit swivel brushes, this is what happens. It's just an amazing transformation. I can actually stand right in the centre of the window and actually clean the whole lot from one position. Perhaps a slightly longer pole. What, happen, um, what helps, sorry, by the way, is to have an angle slightly upwards here. Because when you fit one of these, you'll find that it's already got an angle which actually tips the brush forwards already. So you need to put a bit of a back angle on your whack adapter. A whack adapter is absolutely crucial for good success as well in this. So I'm just going to show you how it works now with the actual swivel brush as opposed to the fixed brush. See, I can just, as you can see that, I can just stand in one position straight across there. Notice how the brush is actually automatically moulding to the actual window. And the bottom ones, I can even swivel it like this. In one position, absolutely amazing. Do it a bit that way, you can either do the window that way or that way. Now, if you can't see the benefits of that, it's absolutely amazing. You can't do that for the fixed brush, I promise, I promise you. Okay, let's just switch that off. Now, the other benefits are when you've got much higher work upstairs. Normally what I do, I tip this forward just one notch, whack adapter, so you've got this sort of angle here. It's on reach it pole by the way, so you've got this sort of angle, so that when you're doing the upstairs, the brush is almost perfectly on the glass, although when you're reaching over a conservatory or something, you might want to have a, a straight angle like that. But normally I put it just one click. You can see it's a nice curve. This will help uh, the ergonomics of everything and it won't act like a pendulum and tend to make the actual pole swivel as much as well. There's not going to be as much stress on your actual clamps. You see when you've got uh, an ordinary brush on as well you tend to have a much more acute angle like this and what tends to happen the effect is this. You see how I can make that swivel. When uh, I've got less angle on because I don't need it because it's already got an angle is you don't get as much swivel at all or stress on your clamps. So what I'm going to do now is just tighten that up a bit. Um, I'm going to get the rest of the pole out. Put that back in, put it together. Just the reach it pole splits as you know. Tighten the clamp up a bit. Okay, let's extend the pole a bit. Maybe I'll show you upstairs. Right, put that down a minute. What I'm going to do is pan that up there so you can see the upstairs windows. 
Okay, great. Right. Turn the water on again. I've got to do that. All it is is like a I've kinked the pipe, that's all. And again, the beauty of this I can stand one position, fill the glass, that's staying perfectly in line with all the frame edges. It's absolutely amazing. You can't get over this. This is just a demo, so don't look at my technique here. Just try and look at what the brush is actually doing. Now you see the far right window across there. Um, let me just get some more pipe out here. It's getting trapped. The far right window over there. Let's say I can't actually move to the right there. Conservatory in the way, car, garage, you name it. Okay. Um, with the grid chip pole and the wagtail orbit, watch what happens. I can go right across here. It still lines up. I don't have to stand in front of the window at all. Even swivel it round the other way, like that, being sideways. And I'm right across the side of the garden here. That is absolutely terrific. Sometimes you might want to change the angle again for extreme distances. What I'll do, switch water off a second. What might make it easier for that sort of manoeuvre is to actually have a straight angle, uh, whack adapter or angle adapter, whichever you've got for that sort of manoeuvre. Then you might find it works even better. I'll just show you that again then. this time. So I'm going right across here, just the front door. I'm finding no problem at all. You have to use a little bit more strength to find this. Look at that, it's actually flat on the glass. The brush is flat on the glass still. Or I can turn it this way. Work like this. Absolutely amazing. It saves a lot of energy, it's faster as well. Okay, let's bring that down again. I can even get next door's windows from here across the top of the hedge. Believe it or not. Right, let's just put this in here. Let's show you this again. I'll split the pole once again. Hand down again to the lower windows. Okay. Maybe a bit closer. What I'm going to do again, like I said before, for the downstairs, and we'll click the other way. Okay. Hope you like the kinking manoeuvre to act as a tap, by the way. It's fantastic. It works a treat. I'll show you again in the lower windows here what this is capable of, the speed I can go on this. You can actually get like a swivelling movement like this, like a wagtail or a squeegee, if you like. Look at that. Fantastic. And the speed I can go with that. Great these windows because I've got one that's hydrophilic one that's hydrophobic, that's hydrophobic there, this one's hydrophilic. <laughs> so, look at that motion. It's absolutely amazing, I can't get over this. I won't work with a fixed brush anymore. There you go. That is the wagtail orbit. Worth every single penny. Okay, job done.